for now be comfortable with this uh, environment for example if you want you can select the fit here in the explorer okay so you can see a little better so you have here uh, six layers six different layers if you play by pressing the space bar okay you can see that all movements are done in about three seconds okay three seconds here in the timeline okay it says time ruler three seconds so uh, if you stop that if you select just one of the layers for example linear this first one I can even select the solo layer so I can see just that okay what we can see is the movement it does selecting the layer we can see even the path okay we can change the elements going to transform position so we select that we can see that the keyframe starts here in the frame 10 and then the second keyframe of the movement stops in the 210 okay mm, we can directly modify the path here creating with a base here we can do this shape okay works smoothly between these two positions okay so by default this is not that smooth in fact by default this is linear okay if you select both and you control you can change from one kind of movement to another okay this is uh, um, the smoothest way okay is is uh, right now you select the linear you would see that is constant speed between one position and another okay so it's not a smooth it any uh, it's not a smooth anymore so uh, now I would suggest just to modify properties okay like for example scale or position or rotation or opacity to change that you just display that you select the property you want and then you select the stopwatch that the stopwatch on the side on the on the side so you have that you can select that okay so I start with these degrees of rotation I didn't change because I didn't activate that so if you activate that I say I'm going here I'm changing from this rotation to this other and then if I want to align this rotation with the movement I'm going to put it at the same time okay so that way it rotates and at the same time moves around you can now uh, play with different positions different properties until you feel confident with the different uh, elements of path uh, shape uh, you know position scale rotation and all this and also with the creation of keyframes okay so click on the keyframe time this other okay can close even the position if we want doesn't matter all the change will be on the uh, saved already on the one on the uh, composition inside the composition the same thing here we play we can see that the beginning at the end of the uh, of the animation is the same in, it starts in the same place ends in the same place all at the same time the diff but there are differences in the way they move and this is because the time in each layer is being uh, displayed is being played in in a different way so we are going to to check what are the differences okay if we go to linear well this is uh, obviously the the reason this is linear movement we go solo we see this is the path so this is the physical path but if we want to see the temporal path we have to select the properties so we go to transform position 
because it's, this is what we are moving now and in position after we select position we select the graph editor and we can see that the speed is here indicated this way you want to, to see that better okay it starts in 516 pixels per second and keeps on with that speed until the very end of the animation so it's linear it's constant okay but what we have commented before in the class is that uh, in the real world almost nothing moves to a linear speed so uh, following a, a linear speed no so we want to to create all the kind of movement okay so let's see what are the difference when we go to easy in okay and we can see that the very beginning obviously zero speaks uh, zero here zero speed but then it starts with this speed same as linear and then gradually okay the increase okay and then there is a slow decreasing okay the the way of remembering this uh, it's if you want to arrive easily to a position okay to in place easily you need a very 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 slow okay uh, down another one okay the heavy the heavy is so you got the the speed gradually 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 increase and then decrease 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 okay so see the difference between heavy is and uh, both EC is okay well uh, obviously uh, it's a difference because this is gradually more while well, here the way it is done is not okay the curve is different it starts to increase the speed much later no instead of doing that here it's doing that here okay so this would be before this would be after so that is different this whole keyframe is slightly different so you have here position and you see that it's a constant speed but the constant speed in this case is zero but even with that if you select the solo you can see that this this select this one the right one as well just just select the, the orange one that says whole keyframe. So you see that there is movement. Although we don't see the movement until it comes to the place. This is quite useful, uh, for example, to doing animations that we want to pretend to want to to when you want we want to emulate the feeling of a stroboscopic animation, like doing a fake stop motion, for example. So we want to be you know different positions okay and no animation interpolated between positions so that is something we might want to do sometimes okay so with this the exercise is done we are going to create a new composition so this new composition we are going to work with PAL okay and we don't need that many seconds. I'm going to do it with 10 seconds. It should be fine. Okay. So I'm going to import. So here, locate the project box. Okay. Import file. You can also use control import. Okay. Or command import if you are in Mac. So just go and you could select one ball. Okay. So I'm going to select this this one for example okay so uh, with this I can locate that one here okay remember we can fit keys okay and this this is the ball I want to to move okay so the position initially position is going to be there so I select transfer position and remember to activate the stopwatch okay so then what is the end but the, the, 
the very beginning I want to think how long it's going to be this so I'm thinking probably in something like four or five seconds so let's see, let's see if five seconds works so I want this but obviously it's going to lose speed so, so it's going to be something like that okay and then I want to be here or in one second clunk is going to to do it's going to do uh, to go to touch the floor okay so the floor doesn't need to be at the end but if you want to get a reference maybe what you can do it's going to view so rulers and you create this floor as a reference okay so then here I'm going to be more or less there okay and then more or less at the same time I'm going to maybe not exactly at the same time because it's going to lose the speed so I'm going to do it longer so I'm going to get but not as not as high so for example if we were here I don't want to be that far and a way of seeing that again is creating one of these so I can see that there is some slightly loose okay and then we have here okay and then here and then here losing so so this is an a first approach to check that I just go here and select the work line I want to see and then I play that So I can see that it's very slow. So it's, mm, I didn't do the right calculation for this. So if I select everything and I select Alt, I can make that to be four seconds. So I can try maybe with four seconds. Still, I think it's not very good. Okay, you will do it better with time let's practice what about this yeah I think it works but I maybe need to make longer the second bones okay so this one this one okay Okay. Yeah. So now uh, let's see if it works a little better. What we see is that it decreases, and the reason for decreasing is because we are adding a keyframe that we might not need. Okay. So, for example, if I select this one and I delay that, I can still uh, modify okay sorry I can still modify these cures so I don't need that keyframe okay Okay, something like that. So let's see if it works better. I want that to be touching the ground, so I select that. Can move from one key front to another with this, remember. I can adjust the speed, but the only thing uh, I would suggest so you can uh, adjust the speed to your own animation is it's modify the um, uh, the properties of the, the scale so we can simulate better the squash and stretch so we select the scale and we deselect these constraint proportions this way of linking that so when we get to here we can stretch it a little okay okay this way 
and then we can copy and paste the same properties here and then here we create the other properties which are all the opposite okay so something like that so then we can copy and paste this property and again when we arrive to this point we tend to put it and when we are here we add it as well so that way we have a stretch squares and stretch okay then uh, another thing we have to do is change the interpolation so we can for example create easy ease okay or we can uh, modify that uh, more um, more particularly with B series, okay. So probably this is the best thing, okay. So you do bases, and then you can. First of all, let's check that we are touching the ground, okay. So we need to be sure that we are touching the ground. Okay, you can use the cursors for this, and then. Okay, touch in the ground as well. Okay. 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 Another thing you can do is activate the motion. So yeah, the motion block. Okay. With this you can uh, tweak your animation. Remember to edit the position uh, graph editor so you can see here the movement how it works okay so how it creates from here to, so you want that to be faster here so you want that to be faster so you go here and you do it to be faster okay until it touches the ground okay so increase the speed until it touches then decrease okay so you can do it this way 